unmute yourself. Let us know your pretty names and what are you going to present to us. And Saboth and Alex will be supporting you and I'll be at the back end. Okay. Hello. Um, my name is Lydia Samuel Manasse and my friend is, my name is Veronica Julius Gahu. And we are here to present for you our project. Uh, but before all, I would like to give a short introduction. And as we know, as young people, we bear the weight of future on our own shoulders. Now, put it to come up with a project titled The Love Garden. This is the project which is aimed at solving the impact of climatic change. Our main vision is to create a planted forest containing about 2 million trees. And we're going to do that by getting a plant and anniversaries, birthdays, couples, memories and all other social events which will bring them to you as memories by planting to be done like if you have uh if you have maybe a memory or anniversary or you have a couple or a, or a birthday party you can come to our center where we and if you want to keep a memory you just tell us then we take a tree we plant it for you and we'll be taking care of it and we'll write there as part of your memory. By doing that, we'll promote peace, social work, and create a carbon sink to the society. Thank you. You're welcome. So also within our project, our main aim, as my friend said, is to create a carbon sink in our community. We all know that art is the best way to communicate to the world, especially during times of crisis. So we have decided to use art as part of our own innovation to make sure that we reach more people in our community, especially the youth and the young people, actually the children in our communities, because we thought of using music, art, paintings, and different things that can be in our center for the aim of attracting more people to come to our center, not only coming, but also planting more trees so that we can be able to reach our goal of 2 million trees within our community with a planted forest. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. So Lydia and Veronica, oh my God, Miss Huge, you are you are really, really impacting the world. Miss, that's like the absolute number one challenge with not having enough trees because of that the pollution, because of the all kinds of problems that we are facing around the world. So you are you are right at the root cause of so many problems. That that's wonderful. But thank you. So how, how 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 you came up with this idea? I know a lot of people think about it. A lot of people wants to do it, but not a whole lot of people take that next step, make take that initiative to, to make it happen. And you girls are making it happen. So how, how, what was the thought process behind it? All right, let's do it and let's make it a project. So how so do you mind to make it a project? So first of all, we are climate change activists. We deal with climate change issues in our communities. So while dealing with climate change activists and problems in our community, we thought of using art because we are artists. She's a singer. I'm an artist. I can draw, I can dance, I can do different things. So from that, we, we thought of using our own talents to make this successful. So what we did, we decided to make this as a project, as a long-term plan, but also as a short-term plan. So within the short period, what we do, we first work with an organization called Sharon Ringo Foundation. Its aim is to fight against climate change, environmental justice, and tourism. So within our project, we thought of working with Sharon Ringo Foundation, but also Voice of Youth Tanzania. With those organizations, we have been able to mobilize 
fund and do different things that can help us move forward by using our talents and different things in our community. And above all, we are also participating in different things and different events such as Tanzanian National Debate Championship, which dealt with climate as the main themes. And the good luck is that we have participated there and we won the medals. And by that, we have been able to disseminate, I mean, to disseminate information on climate change and its impact. And we are also doing different activities such as participating in the mm -hmm. dialogues, the climatic dialogues, like we did, uh, we prepared a day which was called the climate, the climatic dialogue Monday. Monday. And we've collected people and we shared different things and different ideas we've collected from them about the climate change and sort of things. And we are also doing various competitions such as the climate science, the global climatic science Olympiad. And by that we are adding knowledge and we learn different things. Thank you. Oh my God, Miss. You girls are already way, way ahead of the whole game. Miss, you have you have thought through the whole thing. You are already actively working on it, getting your word out. So, in addition to one of the one of the organization you are working with, Miss, are you planning to further expand it to other folks so that make sure because this is a very important cause and this is a more of a community cause, right? Means we as a community, everybody else needs to pitch in you guys can lead this initiative. So how you are getting the word out more? Because this is something you can get the word out globally and gift is one of the great avenues. Means now your name is out, what your project is out, now worldwide, even right now, people are watching you live around the world. And your information will be posted, will be on YouTube, will be on the gift website. So make sure you are now reaching out to not just in your country, in your community, but around the world. Reach out to the people. Because if you are planting trees, people can just send you a message. And on their behalf, you can plant trees somebody for somebody who lives in Canada or America or uh, Emirates, right? So you can be global very quickly. Congratulations. I, I'm, I'm really impressed. Great work. Thank you. Thank you. Good, Alex. Um, I just want to say this is an amazing idea. And I'm uh, really I'm amazed on how you did this. Um, but what's your advice to the world? Okay. One thing I would like to advise the world is... We all have to join our hands and fight against climate change. The effects that are faced or the effects that are caused by climate change around the world is a bigger problem to everyone. Some experiencing the effects less, some experiencing the effects more. So we need to join our hands all together to fight against this. One thing people can do is to use what they have. Use your talents, use your hobbies, Use your everything that you can to make sure that you fight against climate change and reach the world in a, in a very good way in order that we can be able to manifest the highest human potentials in the world. And another thing that I would like to advise the world that nobody is immune and nobody is safe. Uh, and as long as we are having this problem, the climate change problem, nobody is immune against that. Therefore, we should work across the geographical, cultural, and ideological boundaries. We should join our hands to fight against it because everyone is facing this problem. And if we won't work now, the nature will keep on acting. So we should all work hard for the betterment of our own future generations. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. So, Lydia and Veronica, I, I can see it. I can hear the passion. I mean, absolutely. What we are saying, how you are saying it, I can see passion in you. 
so so from here means i know you are trying to get the word out what, what's next what what you are planning to do next means how you how you going to further expand on this one in next month or years two years five years where do you see yourself or where you would like to see yourself so within our within our plans or goals or everything that we have first within months we have different events in school for instance we had the women's day in march we planted trees we had girl guides club we emphasized our fellow girl guides to plant trees that is one thing that we do but also during different occasions for instance saint jude's day in our school we have a special day to celebrate from different campuses students from different campuses so we make a plan that in every saint jude's day we make sure that we plant trees within that event not only that when we have club days in our school we speak to different people in different clubs in our school for instance we speak to pccb club that is dealing with combating corruption and everything they oh, they don't know about environmental they don't speak about that but talking to them giving them education awareness they get to see this thing as very important so one thing they will do is to join us plant tree within that but not only that we do fundraising how do we do this for example we emphasize people for instance we have to do a, a cycling journey from maybe from our school to somewhere else so through that cycling project we get that fund from people for instance you have to pay one thousand for cycling from where you are to another place so through cycling process they contribute a, a thousand shilling so when they contribute that one thousand it gives us that that capital to start another project for planting more trees so that we can reach our aim of two million trees so these are among the things that we do but within five years we are sure that we are going to be there with more than two million trees not only that tourists within our countries they'll come and enjoy the love garden we have love for nature so we hope within five years workshops educations seminars and different things can help us manifest and make this project very useful and above that uh, the plan that we are having is to get a big plot of land because honestly for now the big part of, of our project is being conducted at school now we want to shift our project from school to the society now how will we do this is to to get a big plot of land so that we can be able to start a center there and divide our project into different sectors such as the place of planting trees at educational places to our raising places and such kind of things so that is our main plan for now we just need a plot of land so that we can shift the the project from school to the outside world thank you i'm impressed oh my god miss you have your whole plan laid out already that that's yeah. very impressive so so regarding the funding part of it um, um so you already are seems like you're already doing the fundraising is that going well kind of and definitely that is something you can keep it expanding right fundraising should not be and doesn't need to be limited to your local community or even your country because fundraising can happen globally and this cause that you are having oh my god you will get a big support worldwide we just need to get the word out that's all and we will help you do that through a gift is the big avenue for that thank you thank you so much absolutely oh my god this this makes me me so passionate about this you know we all think about it but you <laughs> girls are making it happen the best thing that i like about is the name of the project and that is the garden of love so that is the most beautiful thing because people do think about climate change as well people do think about communities as well but blending in uh, something which is emotional because they uh, they they plant trees mostly as a refer to a memory or to to actually lock down their memory somewhere so that reference is so beautiful bills and i wish you the very best of luck and next time uh, please do write your email address 
or uh, the the whatever people can use to contact you because next time I'm going to save my memory, I'm definitely going to contact you girls for planting a tree. All right. In fact, I'm going to use the same the next time if we wish to save something, if we wish to celebrate something, I think this is something that we can all do that oh rather God, than yes. celebrating via birth cakes and candies and uh, yeah. toffees and uh, maybe the buntings. Next time, whenever we wish to celebrate something, we can plant a tree and the credit would definitely goes to Leidia and Veronica as well for sharing this wonderful idea. So uh, uh, it's a wonderful suggestion for everyone. Next time, whenever you celebrate, plant a tree and extend this to your friends and family as well. Plus, you can contact these lovely girls for making your memory memorable planting a tree by them. All right. Do you write your contact details in um and you and you in our youtube channel go there everybody is watching you live and write your contact details over there and what you want them to if you want them to uh, send something or whatever it is the process and your contact details all right thank you you are thank you welcome. very much we were we were, we were so well happy that we could give you time to talk thank you all the best to you girls great work Thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye.